I was doing a project right now and um, I mentioned in one of the other videos that I was thinking of doing like a little Q&A because I've passed like 100 subscribers so I'm gonna do one. I have some questions that I saved from people asking me over I guess from when I started asking for questions for the Q&A and so I thought right now since I'm letting a project dry because I glued something I would go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and get into it. Right now I'm up to 118 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing. I'm nuts. I know my videos may not make a whole lot of sense and I make a lot of mistakes, but I hope that's helpful to you in some way. So I really appreciate your support. Um, so let's get to the questions. I have my notes here. So um, if you didn't know, I actually have my own clothing line. Nothing, you know, nothing special or nothing like that, but I make my own stuff, my own original things. So some questions I had about that was, um, what have been your, my favorite designs that I've made over the years? And um, some of the, my f absolute favorites, I would say, one of them being, it was for a magazine submission, and I'll show you a photo right now. We did, um, I had the model and photographer and we did like a magazine submission and I made an outfit and I made like this headpiece, like this geisha hair, what was it moved? Um, headpiece out of paper mache and like a dollar store wig and um, the rest of the dress was made out of caution tape. Now it, it was thrown away, like it was made to just be like a little art piece thingy for like one time for the shoot because there was no way for her to like get in and out of it, like I had to tape her in it. It was like that, but it was really cool, as you can see. And I think another one of my favorites that I've made over the years is recently, and I freaking love this dress, like, oh. See, I make things all the time, like, especially when I'm gonna do photo shoots for my made-to-order stuff, in things that are not my size, because I'd like to sell them and make money back and if I just make everything in my size like I'll just end up keeping everything so that's just not but one of my other ones that are favorite that I did in the past couple years I did um, a denim dress and I had like some chains here I'll show you I'll show you a picture right now And my model was so, like, all my models are beautiful, but, like, I love the way this looked on her. If you're looking at the pictures, it just came out so great. I loved it. Um, you know, I I do, I've done a lot of costumes for people over the years, all that stuff. Um, what's the best thing about designing? Best thing, you know, just you make things from your imagination. You make tangible things, like if you have a dream about it or you have an idea, it's not far away that you don't think you could ever actually have that you know the same way like where art artists paint things from their imagination and that you can see what they were thinking of it's the same thing like I love that part of the process it's just thinking of things putting them on paper and then making it come to life and actually seeing someone wear and then photograph the original design that you made it's it's really awesome it's all worth it the worst um I would say the time because sometimes I do like really ambitious stuff and or you know life gets in the way and I have to put designs or projects on hold and and just the in like just the, the waiting to, to finish this project to have the end result that's probably the worst like just that time waiting from starting to finish is like I think is the worst because I really I wish I could just like make stuff in five minutes that would be awesome uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully doing the same thing. Um, I've been thinking recently of maybe doing my, finally opening up my own seamstress shop, doing costumes. Um, where I live, cons are starting to been picking up and they're being m more available to us in the, I guess in the last, what, seven years. So that's, I get a lot of business through that. So that's what I'd like to do, actually own my own shop sell clothes from there um, not just my original ones but just like local designers and things like that so that's what i'd like to do in 10 years hopefully i'm still doing this i've had my bit my business open for about six years now so i'm almost at the 10 four more years right and i'm almost at the 10 year mark so that's that's what i that's what i hope to do um another question i had 
was what kind of music do you like? I like all kinds of music, um, but mostly uh, my favorite genre of music is like, I guess rock and roll and all that heavy metal and shit like that. Um, funny story, I worked a festival yesterday because I also, as like a side job for like money, I do events and promotions. Um, so I worked for a company that was had like a booth, had a vendor booth in this festival. Um, and it was a neon desert festival if you're if you're wondering in El Paso and I worked that and um, It was really cool because on Saturday We got out of work and I clocked out and I was able to catch the last 40 minutes of Deftones now if you watch some of my rants sometimes Well, and like anytime any video I put of like rants or things that I don't want monetized I'll have Deftones music playing in the background if you haven't noticed, there's been like one or two videos that haven't had Deftones music in the background, but basically they're they're my favorite band. I like Glassjaw, uh, Classic Rock, like 38 Special, Styx, Journey, um, just bands like that. Um, Fear Factory is another one of my favorite bands. Uh, a friend recently got me into Meg Myers. I'm like really digging Meg Myers right now. Adele, I know like Adele is just like so like far away from heavy metal but i am such a freak for adele let me tell you obsessed obsessed so i love adele um so i saw the last 40 minutes of deftones it was awesome i hadn't been in a mosh pit in years and let me t i mean i'm 30 years old right i just turned 30 in april and i'm all like out of shape and blah but i had like a pretty stressful month like there's just been some non-stellar days they're not they i couldn't even call them average days because average days are still kind of like good days right because nothing bad happens i've had some pretty uncool days many of them actually this past month so i was just like the, i saw the mosh pit mosh pit looked good the dudes were like my size or slightly bigger and i was like screw it i told my friend hey dude hold my purse i'm going in there i got in the mosh pit i got thrown down a couple times but it was all good, it felt wonderful, and then they played Root, and then my good mosh pit got a bunch of like really huge guys that were like six feet tall, and that's when they knocked me down, and I was like, mm, I'm gonna get out of this mosh pit, it's too powerful now, I can't, cause you know, I, like I'm kind of heavy, so like I can really, with guys my size, or like even my size, but like muscular, I can kind of like hold my own and like at least ground myself, but these big, bigger dudes, Nah, <laughs> I couldn't do it. You know, I know my limits, even at my age. I know my limits, so I, I stopped. And a funny thing about, I worked the festival the next day. On Sunday, I was coming home from work, and I got pulled over by a sheriff. And um, he's like, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, no. <laughs> like, I thought everything was cool, right? He's like, oh, well, your back brakes light, brake lights are out. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. This is my husband's truck, which it was. I was driving my husband's truck to work. And he's like, well, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, here's a license registration. And then he's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I go, nope. And I show him my wristband, which they gave us a wristband at, at, for the festival for the vendors. And I go, no, I just got off work, actually. And he's like, really? And he's like, and I, I kind of explained to him about events and promotions. Like, we actually chatted for a little bit. And he's like, oh, yeah, they were going to hire me or the sheriff, some sheriffs to do security. And I almost did it because they were paying so well. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's too bad you didn't. And I go, it, and I told him, it was one of the really cool things about working festivals. Like, if you get off work, you get to stay in the festival. There's still acts going on. And I told him, I saw Deftones for free yesterday. And he was like, oh, you got, you like Deftones? He's like, I saw them at Texas Showdown a couple years ago. And I go, yeah, I see them, like, every time they come into El Paso. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever missed a show since like from 2000 and on so he was like oh that's really cool so i got off with a warning and i was like yes deftones got me off with a warning so i was really really excited about that uh, a couple other things about this crazy lady that teaches you these wacky things on crafts um i'm married i have two children i'm 30 years old as i said a couple seconds ago um yeah, I own my own house and car and what else? I bake shit. I don't know. Like, I'm just, that's that's pretty much all I have. I didn't have too many questions, which is fine. Um, 
my stories were well worth the filler for this, <laughs> I guess you could say. All right, well, I mean, thanks so much for subscribing. I still got more stuff coming up. Um, I'll probably have more time because it looks like for my normal job right now that I'm a sewing instructor, stuff's probably going to slow down. So I'll have more time to work on all these projects that I keep talking about in my monthly updates. And you're slowly seeing them like the soda fountain purse. I finished that the other day and I posted it. Um, I'm going to probably start on the Tierra thing, headphones, Rihanna thing this week. And the Fabergé egg. Um, so yeah. Well, again... Thank you so much for your support and like and subscribing to this liking and subscribing to this channel. I will talk to everyone later. Bye bye.